is your AP government video on Buckley versus Vallejo. The Buckley decision was a Supreme Court decision that came out in 1976 due to some of the campaign finance reform laws that were passed under FICA, the Federal Election Campaign Act. Because FICA was the first major law that limited how much a person could give directly to a candidate running for office or to the national political party, a lot of people who have significant amounts of money wanted to be able to give as much money as they wanted to the candidate of their choice. And they argued that this is part of their First Amendment right in a democracy, that their money represented their political interests. Well, the Buckley decision came down and it's a little bit of a mix. Um, the court upheld limits on contributions or donations. So the $1,000 individual limit on donations directly to candidates or parties um, is legal and the court upholds that. And also $5,000 limits from political action committees donating directly to candidates or political parties. But they struck down limits on congressional spending. So what this means is uh, members who are running for Congress, so the Senate or the House, you cannot cap how much spending a campaign can do. So a person who's running for the House or Senate can fundraise as much as possible, as much fundraising as they can. Those contributions from donors do have to be within the 1,000, 5,000 limits, but you cannot restrict their spending. So if a congressional candidate um, is able to fundraise $7 million, through these restricted contributions, then they are allowed to spend everything that was donated legally. Now, the Supreme Court uses for the first time in Buckley this First Amendment protection. The First Amendment protects your freedom of speech and also your expression. So you don't actually have to say, I like this candidate publicly, you can just donate money. And that is the same thing as you agreeing with them politically. They did say that limits on presidential campaign spending are okay because of the matching funds. So the only way that presidential candidates can be restricted on how much a campaign can spend to get somebody elected is for those presidential candidates who accepted the matching funds. If a presidential a candidate who's running for office chooses not to accept matching funds, then they also do not have any spending limits. But donations to each campaign and national political party do have to abide by the $1,000, $5,000 limits. Now, of course, people still have um, issues with the Buckley decision and wealthy people who have a lot of money still are having concerns with the $1,000 and $5,000 limits. So there will be changes in the future.